I'm Sky Smith, and today I am in the 911 Gives Hope Boxing Gym with Chief of Police Billy Bolin and Firefighter Willie Curry. And this is my son, Obadiah Curry. Thank you both for meeting with me today. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Chief Bolin, uh, what is the story of how 911 Gives Hope got started? Uh, we have a, another police officer, Pat Furnett, and approached me, I guess going back eight or nine years ago, with the idea of doing a boxing event to help raise money for his daughter who suffers from a, a disease called prader willi syndrome. And then we have a playground here in town that I was helping raise money to upkeep called Kids Kingdom. And so that's kind of the beginning of Guns and Hoses as we did this boxing event across the street at the Coliseum. Um, and it's just grown from there. I know both of you have different roles in the charity. Uh, which roles do you both play? Um, me specifically, I'm you know just part of the event itself, um, helping to, to bring tickets and you know money to raise money for charity as far as just boxing and participating in the event, um, helping to recruit other guys from our department or other or other firefighters that may be interested in it as well. And yours? Um, I'm one of the uh, promoters of it. I help with the marketing organization, uh, lining up the fighters, and just kind of getting the public aware of what we're doing. I know you guys do a lot of fundraisers. What are some of those events? Um, some of the other things we do other than the boxing event is we have a uh, toy drive every year in December um, called 911 Gives Hope for the Holidays. All the toys we collect go to kids in local hospitals. Uh, we do that out at the East Side Walmart on Burkhardt Avenue for a three-day weekend around the clock. Um, we also have a hockey event that we do and we have a golf scramble. Where did the idea for the toy drive come from? Uh, we partner with a local radio station or a group of them called Town Square Media. They approached us about trying to come up with some type of toy drive around Christmas time. Officer Fernetton's daughter Mickey had been in the hospital in St. Louis, had been having a rough time and some of the nurses brought her in a toy. So he suggested that our toy drive focus on kids in local hospitals and we've been doing it ever since and now it doesn't only help kids at Christmas time in the hospitals but we get enough toys that it pretty much last year round throughout the year if a kid is having a rough time or having a surgery or their birthday while they're in the hospital um, they go get a toy and kind of brings their spirits up. I'm curious where do the funds from the boxing match and the hockey game go? Um, we have a executive board that's made up of three policemen, three firemen. Uh, Willie was one of our original board members also um, we sit down after the events, after we raise all the money, and we decide who we want to give the money to. And every year it's different charities. Um, always we have money that goes to help with the eventual building of a group home for Prada Willie and to help maintain Kids Kingdom. The other half of the funds we all vote on and we give to different charities that affect kids or people with special needs. Besides the toy drive and the boxing match, are there any other events that 911 Gives Hope holds? Yeah, we have a hockey event that's policemen versus firemen, guns and hoses, and then we also have a golf scramble that it isn't any type of competition, it's just a fundraiser that we hold. How long have you been boxing? Uh, I've been boxing roughly um, six or seven years. Um, I really didn't get into boxing until I started doing guns and hoses, so um, probably six or seven years. I understand that you went into boxing retirement. What made you want to come out? Um, actually, there was a guy that had fought and uh, he was really good. Um, and I thought, hey, that'd be a good fight, you know, and plus it'd be a good cause for charity. Um, and we had some other guys that were interested in doing it from our department. So um, just those three things together um, kind of played a part in, you know, wanting to come back out and uh, have fun and train with the guys. And um, also our son uh, was born and uh, he'll be two this year. So, you know, we got a, got a year of raising him under our belt. So it was just, you know, a perfect storm for everything just kind of came together and come back out and have some fun. So. And who will be your opponent this year? Uh, it's actually Chris Rowe. He's with the um, Vandenberg County Sheriff's Department. Um, so me and him kind of went back and forth joking and uh, different things like that. And it just makes it fun. So we'll be, we'll be going head to head this year. We're in this great boxing gym. Um, how did the practice gym come about? Uh, well, I know the first year we started, we were in a uh, MMA gym called Big Bullies Gym. And I think uh, after the first year, it was, you know, a, a good success. We had a lot of guys interested. So we, we kind of thought, hey, you know, it'd be nice to have somewhere where the fighters can go and train year round. Um, we have a, a firefighter, Mike Doran, here in Evansville that was one of their founders of Guns and Hoses also. And he was really big on trying to find a gym. And me and him worked together on coming up with a location. This was an old courtroom that was vacant. It had stuff piled everywhere, kind of a storage room. Um, Lowe's on the east side helped us. We uh, filled holes in the walls, painted, uh, fixed the floor, put down the tiles, um, and basically turned an old storage room into this gym. And it's been a great place for our police and our firefighters to work out in. 
And what is the date for the boxing match this year? It's going to be April the 11th, 2015. Um, we're excited about it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be our best event ever. And I pity the food that can't make it out. <laughs> In both of your opinions, what is the biggest accomplishment of the charity? Um, definitely just being able to raise the money to, you know, help other kids um, that are in need or um, kids that might be suffering. You know, if I can go out and take a punch, um, you know, the ripple effect for that, you know, goes transcends beyond being in the ring in that night. So that's definitely a great accomplishment. Yeah, I agree. It's just seeing all the kids you can affect, the charities you can help. Um, we have a give day every year where we give all the money away and we when we bring in the people and the groups we're given to and that's probably our favorite day of the year is when you leave there and you see all the different people you've been able to touch it really makes it all worthwhile chief bullen do you have any final comments i would just remind everybody the toy drive's coming up soon it's uh, december 5th 6th and 7th like i said all the toys benefit kids in local hospitals so come out and visit us um, policemen firemen a lot of times little kids want to come out and meet a uh, policeman fireman it's a great chance to do that and then if you've never been to the boxing event, it is honestly one of the best times. You get a, a great bang for your buck. And not only do you have a great time, watch great entertainment, but every bit of your money goes to help good people. Thank you both for meeting with me today. Well, you're welcome. Reporting for Bossy's EVSC Community Link, I'm Sky Smith.